guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing instant booking. Should you do it? What are the pros and cons and how to set it up? Let's get to it. Let's start off this episode discussing the traditional way to get bookings. A guest would send you a request and you would have to respond accepting or declining the reservation. Before accepting the reservation, you have time as a host to ask questions and the guest can ask you questions about your listing. So what is instant booking? Basically, it's a feature that doesn't require the guest to wait for the host to respond and can book your listing instantly. Now, let's discuss the settings you can turn on to have better control of which reservations are going to instantly book your place. Number one and most important rule is all guests, no matter what, have to agree to your house rules. Now, as a host, I'm letting you know this is the most important step. You really have to make sure all your house rules are in order, that guests do review them before going ahead and moving forward in instant booking your place. For instance, some house rules will be quiet hours that the community may have, or no smoking inside, things like that. Another setting you can have turned on is the first message. Here's an opportunity as a host to ask a couple of basic questions before the person goes and moves forward with their booking. For instance, you might say, Hi, thanks for booking my place. What are you in town for? How many people in your party? What are their ages? Looking forward to hosting you. I'm going to mention one of the pros right now because it relates to that last feature. If a guest responds to those questions with anything that makes you uncomfortable, you can cancel that reservation penalty free and it will not impact your superhost status. Another important setting is the advance window notice. This prevents you from receiving any last minute bookings. So with my advance window notice, I have a same day cutoff time. So someone can book my place, but only up till 10 a.m. that morning. You can have a same day cutoff like I do, or have a one day notice, a three day notice, or a seven day notice. Another setting that you really want to make sure that you update once you turn on your instant booking is the trip length setting. This setting prevents you from automatically accepting guests that are staying way too long or way too short. For instance, my studio, I only allow guests to stay seven nights max. While I'm comfortable hosting single night stays, I've spoken with other hosts that only allow two, three night stays minimum because they don't like that high turnover. If for some reason you forget to update your trip length setting, Airbnb will automatically default it to a one night minimum stay and up to 31 night maximum stay. These next settings are totally optional that I'm going to discuss. And for me personally, I do have them on all my listings. The first setting is making sure that guests provide a government issued ID. They don't provide you with the ID. They provide it directly to Airbnb. For me personally, I just like having that extra level of security with my reservations. The second optional setting is recommendations from other hosts. Now, basically with this setting, this only allows guests to instant book your place when they have recommendations from other hosts and positive reviews. If a guest is new to the platform or they have any negative reviews from other hosts, then they have to send you a reservation request and you would have to either accept it or decline it. They cannot instant book. So what are the pros with instant booking? It's convenient, especially if you have multiple listings. You don't have to have that whole back and forth dialogue with every single request you receive. Another pro, as I mentioned earlier, is that you can cancel penalty free if you're uncomfortable with that guest for any reason and you will not lose your superhost status, which is huge. Also, another pro related to your superhost status is that, as you know, you have to have a 90% response rate to keep your superhost status active. And with this, you don't have to worry about that response rate because it's automatically responding for you. Another pro is that Airbnb puts instant booking listings at the top of searches. And lastly, guess they can book with confidence. When a guest sees what they want, they don't have to wait for your response. They can go ahead and book your place instantly. Now, what are some of the potential cons? Some hosts might feel uncomfortable that they don't have that typical dialogue with guests. As I mentioned earlier, the traditional way of booking, the guest has to send you requests. You can ask questions, they can ask questions, you get to know each other a little bit, and then you can accept that reservation. And with instant booking, you really don't have that. 
Another potential con is if you're in communication with a potential guest who has a couple of questions about your listing. Now, with the instant book feature on, another guest can come and take those dates from that other guest. Another con is that you don't do much of a background check. As I mentioned earlier, you don't have much dialogue between all these guests, especially if you have multiple listings. So some Airbnb hosts can definitely feel really uncomfortable about that. My last con, and this is my personal opinion, is if you rent out a room where you actually live out of your own private home, instant booking may not be for you. And then again, my opinion, it wouldn't be for me. The reason why I wouldn't feel comfortable with it kind of goes along with my other con, that you don't have that dialogue with that person. I think if it were a room out of the place I was living, I would just want to get to know my guests a little bit more. So those are my pros and cons. Instant book may or may not be for you. I have five listings and four of them have the instant book on. And the only one that doesn't have it is my private home. I only rent out my home whenever I travel. And I'm really, really picky about who rents out my house. For instance, I try to get people that are a little bit older or have families. And I definitely do not allow people that have never used the platform before. But I will say my four of the listings that have the instant book have been awesome. I have no complaints. I've set it up properly and I've been very comfortable with all of my guests. So those are my pros and cons about instant booking. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you want more hosting info, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.